This one is for those of you that kind of have a general idea of how Giants Editor works and all that good stuff. And I may do tutorials in the future on all the basics and whatnot. But for now, I'm going to show you this neat little handy script. And uh, what it does is uh, it kind of generates some random foliage in a selected texture area. Now, there are a few little things that you have to keep in mind for this process, such as it goes by the color of the texture, not the visual color that you see here, but the color that's in the terrain here. So if we right click terrain and go to layer manager and then kind of make this window a little bigger so you can see it. Now, see how each one of these has different colors. So like whichever one you're wanting to go with, just make sure that that texture set has its own unique color, which if you go to the combined layers, you can see which ones are combined. So let's say you paint the uh, forest grass, you'll have forest grass one and forest grass two. Okay, so you want to make sure that those two are the same color. So if you come here and then click on forest grass one and two, so you just want to make sure that these colors are unique. And to change them, you just double click them, change them, Hit OK and copy that uh, value here to the second one so that way they're both the same. Otherwise, I'll kind of throw things off. But a lot of times, like default game, uh, these will be the same color. So I had to go in and change these for the script to work because this is the color that it's going by here. Okay. And then you apply it and close it. And uh, it doesn't hurt to close the map and reopen it in Giants Editor. That way it uh, refreshes the texture paint stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to make a little forest area, right? So we take our paint tool here. Now I've already got meadow down. Um, we'll change that in a second. So we'll go ahead and change this to forest ground. Okay. So let's say we want this area to be our forest, right? Um, let's go ahead and paint down uh different type of grass for the forest area uh, let's go with grass small in the deco uh yeah oh i already had that selected uh, did i where am i oh here we go no oh limit to forest Grass? Did I not do grass here? I guess I didn't. What did I do here? Oh, forest ground. I want grass. Forest grass. I don't think I updated ground, so we'll go grass. All right. Put in some area here. And then we'll paint the foliage for that area. About like that. Now, you don't want to do too large of an area. Uh, it's best to kind of keep them small. Because the larger the area, the longer the script will take. So something to keep in mind on this. And I think that's it. Okay, so we want to go ahead and create a new transform group, which you can right click in here, create group, and it creates one. Or you can go up here to create, transform group, and it creates one. And then we use control B, left control B is in boy, and then put that transform on that texture. So make sure it's on that texture color. Because uh, wherever this is located, so if you have it over here, it's going to go by the grass color and it'll paint everything but this area. So we want to make sure it's in the area that we want it to uh, do the foliage stuff for. Okay, and then we go ahead and run the script, which will be in your scripts, and then uh, user scripts, and then wherever you have it put there. Um, random foliage by paint tool. And this will open up this, this uh, detailed window here, which has a good bit of stuff to do here. So basically what this is, is it gives you five different type layers that has three states each that you can pick from for it to randomly put in here. If you leave them blank, it'll actually um, remove foliage because this is the foliage removal. Um, which in Deco Bush, since in this map, it's a separate density file it won't do anything but if you have have it to deco foliage or any of the other ones and then the states are all zero it'll actually remove foliage from wherever it randomly tries to put it 
Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just, we're doing forest here. So uh, I'm going to do some bushes. And then as you click these, you'll see down here, it'll say common O2 foliage selected. So that way, if you go down to 15, which I don't think it exists, it says to try another one. So anytime you make a selection here, just check down here. Now, another thing too, is if you want to know what each one has available, you can show, click the show foliage states and console. And then if you make your console bigger here, it shows all the different states for each uh, foliage type. That's up to you how you want to do that though. But anyway, so we'll just go ahead and randomly pick a couple here. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do some regular bushes as well. You can randomly select those. I wouldn't do too much with the bushes. Oh, we want that one different. Now you can make all these the same and it just more that it'll put of that type. And you can duplicate them however you want to do it. Uh, I would... I'm, I like to kind of put a good variety in there. And since we're doing forest, we'll go ahead and do all these forest plants here. Uh, forest plants. What are we at? Four. Uh, six. I wonder if we have more. Seven. Eight. And. See if we can do nine. Does that exist? It does. <laughs> Rice long. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got everything selected. And uh, let's see what it does. So we'll just run the script. Now, it will take a moment, depending on your computer and how powerful it is. It'll take a few moments for this to actually do its thing. Um, there, it's done. So it's not too bad. Let's uh, zoom in and see. Let's un unhook that or unselect that. Look at that. So it gives a good random generation. Now let's say you think that's too much foliage. So you just come in here, change all these to zero. Same here. Here. Now, if you're happy with it the way it is, then just leave it be. But you can also kind of run this again, and it'll either add more to it or remove from it. So, like, if with all these set to zero, for the bushes, it'll remove bushes. For the uh, the rest, it'll remove the rest. So, run script. Oh, got to select our transform. Run script. And it does take a moment. There we go. So it thinned it out a little bit. Oh, let's unselect that. And uh, you can actually thin it out more if you like, but see how you can actually see the uh, the ground texture there and all that good stuff. So let's do it at the first person level. So that's this is what it'll look like in game. Uh, it, it's a little more detailed in game, but uh, yeah. I'll come up a little bit. But yeah, so that's a pretty good natural forest type floor. Now, maybe a little less on the bushes, but I don't know. I think that turned out pretty good. And then once you open it up in game, we'll go ahead and open it up in game and uh, check it out and all that good stuff. And here we are in game checking it out. Now I've got this meadow grass out here and then obviously the forest area kind of dips down a little bit to the uh, regular grass and it's got some good sparseness to it. So just imagine a bunch of trees in here and how that would look. And I guess I would do not put the long grain rice in here. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Looks cool though. But yeah. So yeah, this script gives it a good natural feel, a good bit of randomization, and uh, plenty of options to to really fill in your forest or whatever it is that you want the random foliage generated on. But um. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like this, uh, let me know, and hey, maybe we'll put out some more of our lovely scripts as we create them, as our goal is to make GE as easy as possible to create beautiful things, or something like that, I don't know.
But anyway, appreciate you watching. Have a good day.